Hi, my name is Nick, Nick Deal, and I'll be doing the annual update at the Bond Salon Expert Witness Conference in November of this year. Just to give you a little bit of a, an outline of what I'll be covering, uh, as always, looking at any changes in the law uh, and any updates in case law, in civil and in criminal and in family cases, but particularly this year, there have been two um, cases that have come through very much in the public eye uh, that I will be looking at. Uh, one is the Lucy Letby trial in the criminal justice system, and the other is the Horizon Post Office inquiry. And just to give you a very brief outline of the sorts of issues I'll be covering from those two. In Lucy Letby's trial, uh, the prosecution called six expert witnesses, uh, one of whom uh, underwent a particularly uh, aggressive probing cross-examination. And I'll be looking at some of the issues that arose um, from that and some of the comments both from the judge um, and from the Court of Appeal because that prosecution expert's evidence was accepted by the jury and in fact no expert evidence was called by the defence to challenge it. So the challenge came purely from the barristers. I think it's going to be quite interesting to look at how the law looks at that when there's a, a challenge from the lawyers but no evidence brought in by them to challenge the expert witness. And I've been looking at how the judges use uh, evidence, what evidence actually means, uh, and really looking again at how the expert witness for the prosecution survived uh, that process. It was several days of cross-examination. So he came through it really well. At the other end of the scale, there's the Horizon Post Office inquiry. And uh, you may have been following it um, in the media, but of particular interest and particular concern was the evidence of Gareth Jenkin, who was the uh, witness called by the post office in the trials of various sub-postmasters and sub-postmistresses. Two key things around his evidence. Uh, one was the removal of vital uh, evidence from his statement and we'll look at how that came about and what happened in, in that situation. The other which slightly pre predates that is the concept of being an expert witness at all because he said at the inquiry that he hadn't appreciated that he was an expert witness and was then confronted with the email that had been sent to him prior to his engagement demonstrating that he was the expert witness. Now. In the inquiry, nothing has yet been concluded and therefore we can't comment on any findings made at the inquiry, but it's just interesting to explore the evidence that came across from Gareth Jenkins. With the Lucy Letby trial, there's been now two trials um, and a Court of Appeal hearing. There is now an inquiry beginning into the circumstances around what happened at the um, Countess of Chester Hospital. So we won't be touching on that, but we will be touching on what happened uh, in the course of the trial. So those areas uh, to be dealt with, and as I say, the usual updates on what's going on in, in civil and in family and in criminal. Very much forward to, to seeing you there. Do come and join us. Thank you very much.